Oh, this is Jim Powers, the Home City Hangout once again. I'm just, just hitting you with some random thoughts. Um, but they, I mean, I was talking to this cat, or I guess we was conversing over the, the uh, 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 social media on Facebook about a post. And the post was about drug dealers, are they good people or not? You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I mean, it, which, which spark a, 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 a definite conversation between him and I because he never indulged in that lifestyle and i have you know what i'm saying so you know me and him going back and forth about the pros and cons you know what i'm saying he was more um i guess trying to be demonstrative and demoralizing to the culture the drug dealing culture and i'm not saying this to justify drug dealing in any way shape form or fucking fashion you know what i'm saying but that is a reality that we face today, you know what I'm saying, in impoverished America. And this just has nothing to do with race. It's impoverished America. You know what I'm saying? And when you're dealing with those type of situations that that is uh, oppressive and suppressive, and the only way that you have to generate any type of revenue, you know what I'm saying, is, and, and by following the uh, American dream standard of capitalism, then next thing you know, you know you're going to involve and delve yourself into... Yeah, you know I mean, some time illegal uh, uh, activities. You know what I'm saying? And drug dealing is something that is a causation of um, a need in society to suppress or, yeah, you know I mean, um, 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 remove themselves psychologically from situations. That's why people get high. You know what I mean? That's why you drink alcohol. That's why you smoke. That's why you you pop pills. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's to relieve some type of pain, whether the pain is 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 physical or whether the pain is psychological. You know what I'm saying? So when when we understand the 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 the, the, the thought process, the dichotomy of that, yeah, you know I mean, then the first thing we say, oh, it's okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is this is how we going to generate revenue. Yeah, you know I mean, it's no different from say Merck or Pfizer, these big corporations that sell legalized drugs, uh, uh, um, you know, opiates such as like heroin or, 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 or um, they don't sell heroin, but yeah, I mean, you know, Oxycontin, the same things that make heroin, they sell. The same things that make uh, 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 cocaine, you know what I'm saying, they sell. You know what I mean? The same um, uh, 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 chemicals that give you the same reaction as those drugs um they sell to you but it's packaged nicely and that it's taxed by the government so nobody has no problem with it but they look at us because ours is untaxed you know what i mean you know what i mean this is this is straight revenue untaxable revenue and we jumping right into the mix and they they look at us as you know um fucking scourges to the society or whatever not like that and whereas a lot of us look at ourselves as businessmen me you know what i'm saying i got into it for admirable reasons reasons you know what i'm saying you know family going through this that and the third and before i see my family out on the street before i see my family you know starving before i see you know sitting in the dark or whatever not like that i'm gonna make sure that i you know and me as a man i'm gonna put my fucking neck on the line point blank family comes first with me you know what i mean and 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 even with family it's friends you know what i mean if my friends needed anything because i see friends my close friends as family so if my friends need anything i'm gonna take care of them. you know what i mean and you know nobody can see no 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 i take that back because that is a person i had a conversation with a person last night to say that i didn't look out for them and that shit hurt me to my core you know what i mean that i didn't look out for her when she was there for me and and she was like, well, you know, I shouldn't have had to ask you for anything. You know what I mean? Because everybody else was asking me, James, can you pay my rent? James, can you do this? James, the kids need this. James, I'm I'm not only taking care of my family, I'm taking care of everybody's family. Yeah, I mean, I had about five different families <laughs> that I'm taking care of. You know what I mean? Because of, of what I was doing, because I had the means to do it. And yeah, he was like, well, you was probably flossing with your cars. And da, da, da. Nah, I wasn't flossing. I had nice cars. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? I had luxury cars and everything. You know what I mean? But I wasn't out there, you know what I mean, going to the club, making it rain. I ain't with that crap. 
You know what I'm saying? Why I wasn't paying no motherfucking stripper for no fucking ass? You crazy? I ain't paying for no fucking pussy. Well, <laughs> we ultimately we pay one way or the other for the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Whether we blind alcohol or blunts or this, that, and the third, we paying for it. But straight out like bow, no, 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 it's not happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know, that's neither here nor that. The simple fact is, you know, when when you talk about drug dealers being bad or good, you have two different types, two different mentalities, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with that type of shit, you have, you have those who get in there for, for reasons, it's, it's financial reasons, but they take it and, 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 and inject violence into it, that was never me, never me, I had guns or whatever, not like that, you know, during the course of my, my whole, you know, fucking career and that crap, you know what I'm saying, but, I never went to, 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 to inject that into anything. It was more for protection, and I kept it in the house. I didn't carry it around, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, you have those that, that love the violence, love, that, love the, the, the drama that come with it. Me, I looked at it as a business. I was like neighbor care. You know what I mean? You, you, you needed something, boom, I'm there. I'm going to give it to you, bam, bam. We make the business transaction. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Now, it did corrupt me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because my activities and and my addiction to that fast life, because that fast life is more addicting than the actual drugs sometimes. That money, the pace of the money is addicting. And because it's addicting, you start to start to 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 your your thinking becomes minimized. Your peripheral vision becomes minimized. All you see it's tunnel. You don't see nothing on the side. And that's how I was. And there was a lot of things that was happening around me that I didn't pay attention to. And ultimately, you know what I mean? I got jammed up because of it. You know what I mean? Not just because of snitches or whatever, not like that. That is in the game because snitching is a part of the fucking game. You know what I mean? Snitching is a part of the fucking game. You know what I mean? And it's always been a fucking part of the game. But that's a game that we don't want to fucking deal with. But it happens. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that's one of the one of the cons that come with what the fuck we do. It's it's not going everybody not going to follow the fucking rules and guidelines of you know uh, 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 um being being a criminal. You know what I'm saying? But and there are rules and guidelines. Yeah, there are. You know what I mean? I don't know about this new generation. They fucked up in the head. But back in the day, it was rules and guidelines that you stuck to. You do not fuck with children. You really don't fuck with women. You know what I mean? If you got a problem with somebody, you take it to that fucking person. But you definitely don't do that bitch ass shit that they did in Chicago when they shot up that little kid. We don't do shit like that. That's some bitch ass shit and whoever the fuck done it are bitches. Straight up and down and y'all need to get dealt with. For real. You know what I mean? But, you know, and that's the shit that's propagated on, in the media. About, that's drug dealers. That's, you know what I'm saying, the, the embodiment of, no, 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 that's them fucked up motherfuckers, everybody is not like that, everybody is not looking to fucking, you know, uh, uh, inject violence, you know what I mean, into what's going on, we're trying to feed our families, by any means fucking necessary, that's it, you know what I'm saying, it's not justification, but it's motivation, poverty is a motivating motherfucking factor, Point blank. But the thing I try to teach a lot of these young cats now that I'm away from drug dealing, but I'm still got the hustling mentality. And hustling is only another word for business, entrepreneurship. So you take those same, the same uh, 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 fundamentals of drug dealing, supply and demand, and apply it to something legitimate. And that's what I teach now. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now with, um, you know, Slumbum Entertainment. I'm pouring my talents into that. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and the shoe company that I'm coming up with, you know what I mean? So the Gorilla Apparel. Um, you know what I mean? That's what I'm pouring it into now. You know what I mean? And, you know, I'm definitely looking for support from everybody. Everybody that sit up there and say, you know what I mean? Black lives matter. Yeah, all right. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Because black dollars should matter. Because black dollars... It's a part of black lives. It's just not about, yeah, you know I mean, uh, 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 um, police brutality. It's about everything black. It's about everything with humanity. 
It's about everything that we could possibly do to pull ourselves the fuck up. I see why a lot of people, namely Republicans, sit back and look at look at us. Not just black people, just people, poor people in, in general. That 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 rely upon the government to give a shit when we have the ingenuity to create everything. You hear that? The ingenuity to create everything. We have created everything. And what big business do, they come to the fucking ghettos. They come to impoverished areas because they know that is the, the fucking cradle of creativity and imagination. And they take our ideas and they market it and sell it right back to us. And we so fucking dumb, we buy it. We buy right into it. We buy we buy some some fabricated shit, but we don't buy real shit that's coming from the ones who are actually within those communities. We don't support them. We support those outside of the community that came and raped the community and then sell our products back to us. Is that fucking that as a businessman, that is wonderful. <laughs> that is masterful. They some masterful motherfuckers. But as the consumer, that's some stupid ass shit. Stupid. And we need to recognize what the fuck's going on. So as someone who 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 was a, a, a drug dealer. You know what I mean? Someone who was a street entrepreneur, a hustler, or whatever you want to call it. We need to start focusing our minds on getting our money legitimately. Because once we do that, then we will be able to have the footing to make change. It won't totally make change in everything. But... It will definitely be a fucking, uh, a, a major component to making change because money controls shit here in America. You know what I mean? Believe that. And the more money you got, the more motherfucking control you can have. And that's just what it is. So, so, to all those who think that, that drug dealers are bad, if you listen to what I'm saying, if you see my face right here, you know what I mean? And you think that this is a bad dude? Something fucked up with you. Because if it was bad with me, then I wouldn't be sitting up here trying to get you to think. Drug bills don't make you think from your rhetoric. We unintelligent like this motherfucker said. We should die and all this, that, and the third. No, no, dude. No, dude. We didn't force drugs on anyone. They had an addiction. All we did was to facilitate that addiction, which is fucked up. And I want to take this opportunity to apologize any and everybody affected negatively with that shit. I'm not proud of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it is my life and it is what the fuck it is. And I deal with it accordingly. I did did a fucking over a decade. I did more than a decade, you know what I mean, when you when you combine all the fucking time that I've done because of it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I could take that shit. You know what I'm saying? As a man, I knew putting my fucking neck on the show, or, or put my neck on the line what I was facing, I know it, you know what I'm saying, so the fact that, 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 that the consequence happened, I can't beef about it, I beef about the judicial system, but I don't beef about the punishment, other than that it was, it was, it was, it was, it was blown way out of proportion, and I was given an exorbitant amount of time for the amount of cocaine uh, uh, that I, that they say I had, <laughs> they said I had, you know what I mean, and heroin, you know what I mean, I'm on now, you know, you check my paperwork, you understand that the fucking courts lied, the police lied, the prosecutor lied, and that bitch ass attorney that they forced me to fucking take, forced me to take, lied. The jury was tainted. Yeah, you know I mean? it, it, it's crazy, but that's a whole nother story in itself. You know what I mean? I go on that shit one other day. You know what I mean? But the simple fact of the matter is, it's up to you to decide if you think drug dealers are bad. You know what I mean? And I look at the intent of the person. You know what I'm saying? You have a certain segment that are fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. But then you have another segment that have to do what they got to do to support their family. You know what I mean? And you can look at it any way you want to. Yeah, I mean, you can look at me any way you want to. Fine, dandy, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I didn't exist for you. You know what I mean? 
but I'm here to 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 give you a window, a glimpse into our world. You know what I mean? And 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 YouTube and social media, and Facebook and all these different other motherfucking mediums is a way for me to do that. You know what I mean? Just don't listen to the music. You know what I mean? Because the music sometimes gets you carried away and think that they, we on some wild and out shit when a lot of that shit fake as a motherfucker. Niggas ain't going in no motherfucking clubs. Drug dealers ain't going in no motherfucking clubs throwing 10 G's. And they, unless you show enough, show enough, street regular niggas, they going in the motherfucking club spending a re-up dope. So, so, fuck all that, man. You know what I mean? It, it's just what it is. And um, hopefully what I said enlightened you to, <laughs> to a certain degree. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, I mean, I love y'all people. Continue to support Home City Hangout. Yeah, I mean, share, subscribe. All right? Home City Hangout with Jim P. Peace.